Almighty and ever living God. I place these my children at your feet. Bless them. Send thy gifts upon them. Enlighten them. Enrich them. So that each one may grow into thy knowledge and wisdom day by day. We ask these graces to you, O Lord. Amen. A very good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. All are happy? Are you happy? All are happy? Do you have yeah. rain there? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. It is rainy season. So rain will be there, isn't it? Some day it is less, some day it is more. Variation will be there. In summer season, one day it is too hot, one day it is hot, one day it is cool. So let the rain fall now. Last year we have studied the poem about rain. Voice of rain. Do you read? Oh, no, no. This year we will study. After this lesson, we will study. Eh? After, let us see how the you watch the rain nowadays. Then after the rain, we will study a poem on rain. That is why I kept it a little late. Okay. Uh, one information to you. We will have a meeting later after this some days, uh, after one or two, three days. I will call you a meeting in the evening. Our meetings will be at night. It is a night gathering at seven o'clock. Seven to eight, we will have a meeting. Okay, I will tell you the date. So there we will discuss many things. So when? I will, I will inform you the date and time. Usually our meeting time is seven o'clock at night. Seven to eight. Let me see in these days climate, let me see. And I will inform you, I will send a message, then I will send you the uh, link. Okay. So in such meetings, all should participate, attend. Second thing, Monday onwards, there will be light changes in your schedule. Your schedule will begin by 9.15 morning, 9.15 after breakfast. I see that by 11.30, children are feeling so tired and many are sleeping up to 10 o'clock. Really speaking, last uh, one or two days before I telephoned to one child, I used to, my call will come to your house at any time. It can come. So I called him and I asked him. So he told us some days he is getting up at one o'clock. And he is sleeping at 10.30 and getting up at 1 o'clock. And 1.30 is his class. Brushing the teeth and he is sitting for the class. So I gave him a schedule. His parents are there in Dubai. He is alone here. So I get from here and there. There is some kind of uh, mood of sleeping. So we are rearranging our schedule and your class will begin from 9.15 and it may go up to 1 o'clock. In between, we will give you some uh, gap. We will give you a gap in between. And you are thinking, some are thinking that sitting from 11.30 to 1.30, continuously two and a half an hour, we are back, bone is paining, some kind of suffocation is there. All this, I see, uh, I am sitting here from morning. So I watch each and everyone. What do you do there at home? Where are you turning? Who is disturbing you? Who is calling you from back? I see. Some, sometimes your siblings are coming back. Sometimes your parents are coming back. Sometimes somebody is calling from back and you are turning there. So all these things I see. So I give them time to talk to you. Sometimes some guest might have come over there 
and while they are going back they are saying bye bye and you are disturbed so i give you some time in between so we will begin so set your uh, mobile or set your laptop or net connections and everything accordingly okay i give you the information prior to that and on that day oh my i am using my mummy's mom, uh, mobile mummy is usually going by the such and such a time set your things so it will start by 9:15 okay now today today you see new students who have joined late those who have not received the textbooks you can if you want you can get it from outside you can get it no problem if you have a nearby book stall is there ncrt book you tell the name if you want you can get it from there no problem or you can come to school and collect the book no problem now school is open you can come to school and collect the book suppose if you are in containment zone or triple lockdown area if you cannot come out if you tell me you can if you uh, tell me english other subjects is not possible so many pages will be there yesterday i have sent to some one or two students the pages of the lessons in this way i can help you so otherwise you can come here and collect the book files and you can go after next week after the meeting in the meeting i will tell you there are some homeworks and all these things we will begin certain works homeworks we will begin common homeworks that i will give you so for that purpose i am calling you okay today we begin a new lesson that is in the snapshots that is the fourth lesson albert einstein at school you are one of the albert einsteins you are one of the albert einsteins if i would say you are like albert einstein you will feel shy because sir i am not that much intelligent evelyn sir i am not that much intelligent how can i become like albert einstein you know only an albert einstein who taught you certain scientific theories but behind that there was a life for albert einstein like you while he was in the school in the modern language if we put albert einstein was a drop out was a drop out what is drop out drop outs are the students who cancel their studies and they went away from the school dropping their studies i can't study this this is not my field i am running away at the class of 6 or 8 or 9 or then parents and teachers are pulling and bringing here sit at least this year you study after that we will do they are called the dropouts and our greatest scientist albert einstein was a dropout from the school in this matter don't take him as a model role model clear now you can take albert einstein your role model in your studies in your findings in your research but in this matter based on this lesson first part of the lesson first part of the lesson don't take him as a role model okay now let us directly enter the lesson i need not make any introduction to albert einstein you are science students you are greater than me in this matter so if i teach you about albert einstein i will be the foolish one you will teach one day i ask one student 
so that student was writing competitive exam in astronomy and astrophysics two of my students have written and they have got gold honor and uh, uh, bronze honor from us from us they are students one is of uh, 19 years old and one is of 14 years old the competition was between the age 14 to 25 so one is the beginner and that child got that uh, girl got from our school uh, class 10 she got bronze honor and she was in the 15th rank out of 15000 international participants conducted by us academy so i asked her then she told me that sir for oh, i had a great desire to come through this competition so i downloaded a number of books i learned at night now sir you can ask me astrophysics i am ready to tell you the answer how bold she was hearing that answer i shrunk myself at least the child that has got a courage to confidence that uh, i can speak something about astrophysics i know only astrophysics nothing other than that another boy of my old student here he was studying in an engineering college he also attempted this and uh, he sent me the video he made an aeroplane i thought it was only a model of aeroplane and in the college ground he flew the aeroplane made of thermocol or something and the th aeroplane made a flight and came down and he went to the national level competition and he came with the second prize so there are many albert einsteins that is why i told you you may be that is why i am afraid to speak speak you may become more than greater than albert einstein so it is good to uh, study this lesson in what year einstein asked the history teacher did the prussians defeat the french at waterloo who are prussians who are prussians prussians are who are prussians which country prussians which country russia 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 prussia prussia prus eh prussia stands for germany prussia stands for germany prussians so prussia defeated france at waterloo i don't know sir your correct answer your correct answer i don't know sir it is very easy answer i don't know he said why don't you know you have been told it often enough i have taught in the class many times about the waterloo about the second world war about prussia about fans and how can you say that i don't know i must have forgotten sir you see that balance did you ever try to learn question is there did you ever try to learn what is the meaning of that question if you have learned you cannot forget that is the principle that is why the great science says there is no medicine for forgetting forgetfulness formerly it was told for bald head and forgetfulness there are no medicines now bald head is over 
there is no medicine for forgetfulness because i invented a new theory because forgetfulness is not present in human existence if you are a human being the concept forgetfulness is only an utopian disease it is not a reality those who want they can ask me i will teach you personally so remember that forgetfulness is not present in any human being since it is not present there is no medicine there is no medicine for that and if you feel that now this is important if you feel that you are affected by a kind of forgetfulness in your life those people can approach me i will tell you the method not medicine i will tell you the method to conquer that feeling of forgetfulness years ago the history teacher told here at present an english teacher told you forgetfulness is not there years before a history teacher told i have taught you a lot and did you ever try to learn if you had learned you would have remembered you see understood sania if you have learned you would have remembered vice versa if you have not learned you would not have remembered that is not forgetfulness without learning how can you forget sana without learning how can you forget that means if you learn you will remember clear now do you understand the logic this is simple logic okay no sir albert replied with his usual unthinking honesty with his simplicity why not mr brown asked the history teacher i can't see any meaning not point i can't see any meaning in learning dates what is the meaning second world war 1940 39 to 45 first world war 1914 to 1970 18 what is the meaning of learning this date what is the meaning quit india is on is in 1942 august august 8 quit india quit india sania history class 10 oh we have written we have discharged our battery eh? you see we have discharged completely our battery into the board exam paper and now we are charging new things ah uh, that is your answer i think so with your smile grand smile and understand that quit india is august 8 1942 tomorrow today it is 7 tomorrow eight or tomorrow is the anniversary of quit india very very contemporary issue so you see what i am saying is that if you have learned you would not have forgotten if you haven't learned you would have would not have remembered so i can't see any point of remembering the historical dates one can always look them up in a book whenever you want you look 
after 20 years after 30 years after 100 years if you take the historical books date will be changed or not no change will be there then what is the purpose of learning these dates by heart minachi there is no purpose of learning the dates by heart grishma mr brown was speechless for a few moments you see einstein is talking to the history teacher remember when you reply like this you have to remember you are insulting the person history is full of dates if dates are not there the subject is not history if money is not there in the purse who is carrying that purse hmm? if money is not there with you will you carry a purse vanity bag you will carry because it is vanity nothing is there everybody knows nothing is there nothing is there inside only lipstick and uh, uh, only a lipstick is there that is why it is called vanity bag evelyn is it right vanity bag only a handkerchief small handkerchief to touch the lips and the lipstick inside then it is there on there that is called vanity bag see you history is full of dates not eating dates but number dates years and if you don't study year or these dates how can you learn history and you are talking to a history teacher nandana history teacher what is the meaning of sir learning these dates you are directly insulting the history teacher that means there is no meaning in learning history mr brown was speechless for a few moments you amaze me einstein <laughs> you amaze me he said at last don't you realize that one can always look most things up in books don't you realize that one can always look most things up in books do you think that always we have to think we have to take it from the book always if you are studying biology if you are studying physics if you are studying history if you don't study properly suppose the biology teacher asks you what is the botanical name of that such and such a thing plant oh sir, teacher one minute one minute i will take will you carry the book with you will you carry the history uh, books of history with you don't you think like that for all the purposes you have to refer the book that applies to all the facts you learn at school yes sir then i suppose you don't see any point in learning facts if you say that there are no meaning there is no meaning in learning dates i understand that you think that there is no meaning in learning statements learning facts frankly speaking sir you see how einstein says to the history teacher sir frankly speaking don't feel bad you see that is the meaning vidur don't feel bad frankly speaking sincerely speaking i don't find any meaning in learning the facts you see i don't find any meaning in learning these historical facts in another way i say speaking frankly sir i don't like your class <coughs> hmm i don't like your class then you don't believe in education at all Oh yes sir i do i don't think learning facts is education underline 
If you think that, Einstein says to a teacher, if you think that learning facts is only education, education means only learning the facts, statements, then I don't want such kind of education. In that case, said the history teacher, Mr. Brown, with a heavy sarcasm, perhaps you will be so kind enough as to tell the class the Einstein theory of education. The history teacher is mocking at him. So, great man, you see, my dear uh, Einstein, Einstein the great, becoming be great before becoming Einstein the greatest scientist, the history teacher called him Einstein the great. It is a prophecy. It is a prediction. It is a prediction that you are great. A history teacher in his primary school asked him to present the thesis of Einsteinian theory of education without knowing the history teacher told. We will see one more prediction here in the lesson. This is the first prediction history teacher told. So, if you think that education is not mere learning facts, my dear boy, come here, take a class to the seminar to the students here on your philosophy of education. You see, I told about that girl who studied astrophysics. One day I will call her and tell her to take the class on astrophysics here. So the history teacher invited Shivani, the history teacher invited young Albert to take a seminar explaining his philosophy, his thought, his reflection on education. It is a mockery, this mocking. Albert flushed. I think it is not facts that matter, but ideas. He said, I don't see the point in learning the dates of battles or even which of the armies killed more men. Now, when the teacher asked him to take a seminar in front of the students, now, young Albert began to shiver. He want to scoot. He want to skip. So he said, sir, 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 I meant, I meant not learning the dates, not facts, I means something we have to learn. What I mean, he said, what is the meaning of learning? How many people are killed in the war? Number of people killed in the war? That much things I thought. Or even which of the armies killed more men? I would be more interested in learning why those soldiers were trying to kill each other. Underline. That is a philosophy. By this, by this I mend. You see, history teaches which country defeated the other country. Clear number one, history teaches on which year the war was there. History teaches which country killed more people than other countries. These kinds of facts history teaches. In another way, I am not blaming, I am not blaming, I am not blaming, please think. We are learning in uh, history, 
the round table conference in 1921-23 Mahatma Gandhi went to England and sat for the round table in 1921 and in 1942 there is a quit India in 1947 India got freedom independence which is the first uh, independence war revolution first independence 1857 1857 very good achuts. that is what is called another name is there 1857, first independence. Sepoy mutiny. Eh? Sepoy mutiny. Ah, Sepoy mutiny. Very good, very good. So he did not discharge fully. Something is there inside. Our study is like that, isn't it? Eat, vomit. Eat, vomit. Before the S7, we ate. In the S7 exam, we vomited. Discharge. Again, the same thing we will study for full portion of revision. Again, again, again. That is not the way of studies. We will study differently. So, 1857, and sir, we got independence, and it is almost 70 years, 73 years. And what is the meaning of remembering those 1921 and 1857, 1942, 1940s? And what is the meaning? It is already over. Now British people are not coming to India. He is asking. But more than that, what I mean, we should think in history. Why did those sepoys work? killed what why the people were killed in jallian wala bag what is the mind behind that is to be learned you see i would be more interested in learning what why those soldiers were trying to kill each other. Why did they kill each other? Because both of them are human beings. The enemy is human being. Here the warrior is human being. Both are human beings. Why do this human being kill the other human being? Learn the mental strategy. What is the reason behind? That is very important because this attitude of the mind may change every time. Sometimes I may feel some hatred towards you, Punya. Sometimes I may feel some hatred towards you. When we hear the word hatred, we feel something horrible, isn't it? But hatred is not horrible. What is the meaning of hatred? Lack of love. Lack of love. But when there is a lack of love, what happens? Hatred originates. From the hatred, vengeance originates. From the vengeance, murder happens. Therefore, lack of love is dangerous clear now therefore lack of love is dangerous Albert Einstein says we should see why he has that lack of love don't go for the murder what is the meaning of learning the date of murder no meaning but you learn the boy, you learn the person, his mental attitude. Why did he do the act? Einstein says, you see, not I am saying, Einstein says years before, why those soldiers were trying to kill each other? Okay, the rest we will see.
the next class okay thank you